Capricorns, welcome to your heart spread read. This is for December 2021, the grand finale. <laughs> and uh, your day will come on the 20, right? The solstice. So I'm sad, uh, full disclosure. And so looking forward to energies changing, getting better as we go into this month. Um, not sure how you guys are seeing it. Boy, Venus is going to be something for you guys, Capricorns. It's probably a pretty good transit, this Venus hanging there a long time. Um, boy, this could be um, a lot of good things popping off for, for you and work, love, you know, this kind of thing. It's good to be a Capricorn. You're going to have to deal with the Pluto conjunction, but... It's been in Capricorn forever, so you're probably used to that by now, guys. Let me know. <laughs> We're going to look at you, and this is your energy with the Four of Pentacles, where you're at in terms of love and relationship here. Looking at the one that's on your mind and in your heart. Oh, this is the Klimt Dark Deck, too. So I don't know if you've seen that one before. It's a little different <laughs> for... Uh, four of Pentacles. I try to take into account the difference in the art, you know, it's erotic art deck. I do the interpretations, but still, for, for your energy coming into a relationship, it's, um, you know, I don't know that this is so bad. Um, it's keeping things close to, this is a Capricorn energy, the Pentacles, keeping things close to your best, um, not wanting to put yourself out there too hard. I, like, I definitely don't see you as like being someone's on a dating site. Um, it's kind of not wanting to give your energy to anything really uh, seems to me it's like a four of pinnacles to me is like a conservate when you put your laptop or your phone put it in a conservation mode and it kind of shuts everything down to kind of minimum to keep functioning a little bit like that energy right so but you got somebody on your mind let's see who that is okay and interesting that you get the three of wands not sure how to take this. Uh, three of Wands. This is your person, where their mind is at and where their heart is at, in and around relationships. I'm comparing the Four of Pentacles to the Three of Wands. I have to think that they approached you. That resonates. And so, um, and this is with some fire energy. And with them being in the Three of Wands energy right here, um, you know, I think she's got a magnifying glass in her hands, too. In her hand right there, see? She's really looking. I mean, uh, it's not so much looking for the ships to come in. This is someone really looking, like, for the right person. It's like a, look at that. I'm trying to do the cards. You know, you're not going around here. Uh, this is looking for your ships to come in. I mean, is she looking for miniature ships? No. Um, so she's... Uh, really looking over uh, someone. This is uh, they're coming in with a lot of energy, fast, maybe passionately. Um, they it could be kind of like a player energy, but they're really looking at you hard. You know, they're not just looking for anyone. You know, um, I get a I'm I'm listening and I'm getting target target like target acquired. So this could be someone that's looking for a target. I just gotta tell you. There's something about that Three of Wands energy. It's kind of superficial. And I, if this if it resonates, do let me know. But I got to think that. Now, this is very interesting because you're getting the Hermit now. And this is in the position, a number three card. Of how do you relate to them? How do you feel about them now that you're, like, with them? I'm not sure you're with them, though, um, guys. I think this is someone... To me, it's like the energy of someone is hitting you up, Capricorn. And um, the way you're reacting to them is like, I'm busy. You know, I'm in hermit mode. I'm Hermit, you know, you're really looking at yourself. It so has nothing to do with relationships. And in fact, what I think is so great about the hermit, which is Virgo energy, that's relevant to you in your chart, um, Virgo rising. Um, you know, it's... The energy of, if you are looking at relationships, it's like you're looking at yourself here, looking down. And I think when you combine this with the Four of Pentacles, it's like right now, I see the way you're relating to them. It's like, you know, I'm kind of, I'm just doing me right now. I don't know how to put it other than that. It's like hardcore. I'm just doing me right now. It's like you could come in on fire over here and doing flips, and I'm just kind of over here doing me. And I'm very good with that. 
you know. So <clears throat> now the Ace of Swords. I actually kind of like this for them. Um, this is them being very much hitting you up. What did I tell you? They're hitting you up very much. This is very much hitting you up because this is how they feel about you. And nothing to do with spirit suggestions or anything. This is just their raw feelings about you in a relationship. Um, and it's probably like, I want you. I got a feeling that they may have even kind of come clean or in some way been sincere. Um, it, I get the feeling like they really want you. They're making it clear, you know, with this Ace of Swords here. You know, I get declarations. They could be saying things like, I swear, Capricorn, I swear, you know, I'll never do it again, or I swear I love you. It, it, any kind of intuitive, you get that, right? It's like, you what? <laughs> I swear that I love you. Well, yeah, I swear that I love you. Yeah, my third wife told me uh, one time, uh, you know, I really should love you. <laughs> And I got that immediately. That broke my heart right there. It was kind of over right there. I was like, oh, man. So uh, I get that a lot with this, though. They're, they're giving themselves away with their words, the way they say things. And you're, I don't think you're buying it. But you've got them on your mind, though. They might be sexy. They might be hot. Maybe you'd have sex with them. Maybe the sex is really good. And you're kind of like, you know, when you're in the Four Pentacles, I mean, you know, you still once in a while, you got needs, right? It's complicated. I get it. Wow, two of wands. This is your advice from spirit. I'm going to clarify that with the Queen of Cups. Wow. So the two of wands, clarify with the Queen of Cups. Now this is uh, in the position of what is spirit advice for you, how you should react to your person here. And my first thought when I saw the two of wands was, um, you know, decide on another path. But I'm not really clear on if it means consider them in a choice here. And then you bring in the Queen of Cups. Um, it's basically saying trust your intuition. And it's and it, you have the Hermit here. You, I think someone's, you know, this is what this is saying. Trust what you feel. Just trust what you feel. Like, you may not know if you can believe what they're saying, right? You don't know. What you do know is how you feel. That's what it's saying. Make this choice based upon exactly how you feel. Trust your intuition. But that they puts it into perspective. They can talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and declare and declare and declare and swear and swear and swear. But you just don't know. But you 100% know how you feel. And that's uh, what spirits advise and to go with that, guys. Now, this is advice for them. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I think, um, so you're coming in at this Four of Pentacles. Very self-contained, too, Four of Pentacles. I was sad. I was married to Capricorn 25 years. Most amazing woman I've ever known in my life, in her way. And strongest person I've ever known, for sure. Honorable as hell. Um... But, you know, you're self-contained in a way that fire signs just aren't, air signs just aren't. You see it in a doctor's office, you know, the, the, the you know, Capricorns, your earth signs, will be sitting there calmly waiting. And, you know, air signs and, and fire signs fidgeting and finding a reason to talk to each other and that kind of thing. Now, with your person, they're coming in here with this five of pentacles. And, you know, it's a different energy from what you have. You're content with yourself. I mean, I don't think you're really looking for anything to start with other than maybe you wanted some sex. I don't know. You could tell me. Hey, no, I didn't, Dave. Or, yeah, I did. Because <laughs> they say they could be hot. They could be sexy. I mean, look at this. If they have a really good body. And a woman. That's not the point. Now, but this is advice from Spirit Five of Pentacles. So, uh, for your person, if they're cross-watching or if you want to share this with them, I think the advice here, it's coming under this Ace of uh, Swords, is the words that they are saying to you, and I think you get this uh, here, and I don't really like turning to read this way, by the way, Capricorn, because it doesn't exactly encourage likes, but I just go with what, what I hear, what I think is real. So what this person's being told 
is um, your, your communication is based upon this lack mentality within yourself. And this is why they're reaching out to you so hard. And honestly, I think for this person to, to best understand this, um, they admire, they really, what they really admire in you, Capricorn, is how self-contained you are, how solid you are. It's like this kind of person, if, if you had just, you know, really gave it up easy, you know what I'm saying? Other than that, if you were easy, quick, and um, just rolled right over for them, they would roll right over you, and that'd be that. You know, but because you kind of have this sort of uh, energy of being self-contained, you know, not giving yourself away, um, it's like that draws them to you. But they're being told this is toxic, this is very unhealthy on their part, and it's because they do not feel good enough themselves, classic lack mentality. And you try to make that feel better by, you know, sexual conquest, love, whatever. If someone else really loves me, well, maybe I am good enough after all. But no, unfortunately, it doesn't exactly work that way. Guys, <clears throat> King of Swords. Now, this is the advice for the relationship as a whole. I call this the core of the heart spread here. The crux of the heart spread. And that, that king is looking over here at this five of pentacles. Let me see what the outcome is before I comment on this. And the Knave of Swords. So we have both the King, this is the advice for relationship as a whole, and the outcome of this Page of Swords. Both of them are looking over here at your person. But this is advice for the relationship as a whole for the both of you. And this is the outcome of the relationship. But I don't exactly see a relationship here. I see you basically rebuffing them. It's like maybe you had a dalliance with them, and I don't uh, see you really uh, wanting to continue this. But And so what you have here, the King of Swords, better than anyone, it really puts things, um, and the truth comes out in a very strong way. Boundaries, all about boundaries, asserting boundaries. And then with the Knave as an outcome, it could be, and you're looking at the person, I think this is you kind of responding to their Ace of Swords because the Knave goes with the Ace of Swords and it is looking right at their Ace of Swords, the assurances they've been giving you and everything. And I see you here, kind of in spite of everything, I hear family, friends probably telling you, Capricorn, are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? Or, you know, are they worried about you? Are you okay? Because you're, I think what you're considering of Capricorns is trying to kind of uh, contain this person and dominate them. And you definitely have the power in this relationship. And I'm not even saying that exactly in a bad way. Maybe I'm saying it wrong. Uh, you're feeling like uh, you are interested in them. You don't trust them. So you're going to get real with them, you know. And I mean, this, this could be... As a metaphor, you put a locator on their car, something on their phone. Um, it, it nothing else. It's like you will tell me right now exactly what happened, how it happened, and um, here's how it's going to be. Here's how it's going to be. But I think with this knave of swords, like you're leaving the door open, at least for communication with them. It's like there's something about them you you don't want to let it go. Um, so be careful because you've got coming in with this four of pentacles their advice is that they have a lack mentality i'm pretty sure that you know i'm gonna say it's not to be sexist it's for guys too uh when you're adolescents you know and you're really hot and you're a hot commodity and everybody just looks at you and goes wow um however that shakes out if that happens you know that's your sexual identity you know saturn uh, opposition Adolescence, it's biological imprinting. We dis we discover our, uh, or we formulate our sexual strategies for life. It can be very real there. Um, and, you know, this person may have formulated they are a hot commodity. And that's, uh, and now it doesn't, society doesn't help. I, I've read where teachers reward this uh, from an early age. Even acute young children in second grade will kind of get better grades or more attention or more lenience. You know, um, so it's a human kind of condition. 
Um, and I think that's where this lack mentality is coming from. So naturally, the way they're going to try to draw you in is sexually. So what I see here, though, is you kind of really trying to contain this. Maybe tell me maybe what you want out of this, kind of like a friends with benefits situation or something like that. Or like, if it, you, I guess this prophet was offered to me once, had to say no. <laughs> what a tough decision. <laughs> Uh, friends with benefits, but exclusive, um, something like that. Like really trying, I get this sense of trying to lock things down. So just keep that in mind um, that they're, in a way, it's like in a way they'd be using you to feel good about themselves, as simple as that, until they kind of get a handle on that. So, and you know, with the Four of Pentacles too, come think of it, Capricorn too. It, you know, it could be, like I say, a little bored and stuff. You want a little excitement. That's what that is. That's natural too. It's just you kind of want to control it so it doesn't become out of control or toxic or something. So, let me know how that works out for you guys. Give me a like, thumbs up, tell a friend, tell a friend. If you uh, like it, do subscribe. Always on Fridays and Sag of Capricorn days. Also doing the singles read too, tarot story time singles read for caps. If you don't have anyone on your mind or if you know another cap that doesn't share it. Thank you guys.